guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be creating this makeup look using some brand new products. So if you are interested, then please stay tuned. So since we're going to be doing a makeup look using, for the most part, all new makeup, or at least, you know, some new makeup products, I'm gonna go ahead and start off by using my Milk Hydro Grip. I kind of told you guys already what I thought about this Hydro Grip. So I am going to just kind of let this, like, kind of just get tacky on my face pretty much. And then I'm gonna move on to my brows. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my NYX The Brow Glue. You guys, I've been wanting to try this for so long. So I'm just brushing it up. So one of the things that I've seen people say is that if you do like touch them too much while they're like still setting, then they'll kind of start to get like this little gluey type of texture, which makes sense because this is glue, but it will start to roll off. So I'm gonna try my hardest to just push these up and let these, you know, be. Some people go back and forth on their brows like and really get the product in there. I'm not gonna do that because I just feel like why would I do that? That's just wasting product. That's just putting too much product on my brows. And then if I want to change something, they stuck. I don't know y'all, this looks kind of crazy. Like I've never been like super into that, you know, bushy brow look, but I've like wanted to give it a try. So, so that's what we're gonna try to channel here today. So to clean up my brows, I used to always use my MAC 212 brush, but as you guys can see, it's not as flat and thin as it used to be. So I did go ahead and get the Anastasia brow brush and as you guys can see, this one is super flat, super thin. Compared to one another, you can tell that one is like snatched and one is just a little bit more fluffy now. So since the brows are still setting and getting into place, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Anastasia number 20 brush to go ahead and clean up my brows. So now we're gonna go ahead and jump into our foundation. So today I'm gonna be using my Pat McGrath Labs foundation and I'm gonna use this Real Techniques brush. So first I'm gonna go ahead and just pump this ooh, on the back of my hand. It is very liquidy, I forgot about that. And I'm gonna just dab some and then I'm gonna work this in. Oh yeah, this color is way better. Way, 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 way better than the last one. Oh my gosh, oh yeah. And I like the foundation, like it's very light, very natural feeling, and it gives you just a very nice, soft, like foundation coverage. I wouldn't even say this is full coverage at all, like no way, sis, this is not full coverage. So if that's what you want, you know, go ahead and pass on this. But if you like something a little more natural, something that's like everyday wear, I would definitely recommend this foundation. This one is almost on par with like the Rare Beauty and the Fenty East Drop. I'm gonna just blend everything in. It's just that one layer and it literally looks like skin. Like this is perfect. Like honestly, honestly, I wouldn't have to do anything else to this. Like I feel like this is like cool enough for me to just be like, okay, go on about my day. But obviously that's not what we're gonna do. But if you guys are looking for something very light and something very natural feeling, like pretty much nothing on, I would definitely recommend. So you guys know a few months ago, I showed you guys that I got this Glow Wand Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte and I really didn't like it. However, I feel like the lightness of this makeup and the very natural feel that it has, this might work really well with this look. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and give this another try today with this makeup look. This Shape Tape is in the shape shade Aurora and like when I tell you guys like this is like literally colored water on your face like it really is not much of anything like I don't think that did anything but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to place it maybe we're just gonna go for something a little more natural today like yeah it was really that really didn't do anything at all for me so I'm actually just gonna like ride this out I'm gonna just go ahead and set it sis let's just keep going So I'm noticing that my brows are kind of like falling like this. So maybe I should have like added another layer of product so that way like they really stayed up. Like I can brush them back up into place but I just realized that they're not staying on their own but I'm also, you know, working on the forehead and working around the brows. So I did grab the Juvia's Place, the bronzed bronzing palette. This one is in the shade Dark. I'm going to take this top color first. And I'm gonna go ahead and just warm up my face with this. Wow, it's a lot. I'm gonna put some on this side. 
Juvia's Place is so pigmented and that's something that I need to always remember. Like light hands with Juvia's Place. Like she gonna show up. She gonna show up. So obviously the purpose of this is to kind of stack your contours if you would like. So I'm just gonna add a little, little bit of the bottom color just to the contour on my cheeks, not to my forehead because I just want this to have a little bit more depth. Okay, so I went ahead to pop on some eyeshadow and I used the Anastasia and Carly Bible eyeshadow palette today. I love Carly Bible and this is like one of my favorite palettes. So I did go ahead and use that for my eyes and now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys two products. I did get this dual line it and lash it glue. So this is like an eyeliner and lash glue in one. And I'm hoping that this is gonna make my process as far as putting these lashes on super easy. And today we are going to be using the Ardell Naked Lashes, which I feel like are, they're not too fluffy, but they're not like too natural, so it should look like something. First, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lash glue. So, I'm gonna just, I guess, do this on my eyes like an eyeliner. And I'm actually gonna go one by one because I just feel like if I mess up, I'm gonna need to, you know, go back and fix it so I don't wanna do too much. And I'm gonna go ahead and just do a nice, simple winged liner. And I'm really trying to get this all the way to the base of my lashes. So that way the actual glue, you know, can stick to the lashes. Okay, so a nice little simple wing right there. And it says that this is a waterproof, which I don't really know how I feel about that because I don't want my lashes to be like stuck on, but I mean, I don't want them to move either, but like I want to be able to get them off easily. So I put my mirror on my desk and I'm looking down so that way I can like really see where to push the lash. And I feel like so far this is like already easier than when I normally put on lashes. So. I think it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so this is what the lash looks like on, and I must say, it is a bit easier with this eyeliner slash glue pen. I don't feel like it's like 100% easier. I still have my struggles, but I do think that this helped. So my issue is always that the lashes get the glue on them, and then they stick to my actual lashes and not like the base of my lashes. So. Obviously, because I didn't have to put the glue directly on the strip, I didn't have that problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the other eye and then I'll be back to show you guys what it's looking like. Alrighty guys, and here is the finished look. I am like so feeling this. I like the eye look a lot. I like how this lip looks with it. I even like the fact that this ponytail is just kind of making it like pop a little bit more. Alrighty guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me create this makeup look. If you guys like this look, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are not. I do post every Tuesday and Friday, but if you can't remember that, just hit that notification bell and you will get notified every time I do post a video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. I will link those down below so that way you can easily click and follow. Thank you guys again so much for sticking with me, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.